All right, we're doing coffee in the conversation with Shorty at Starbucks. All right, during the 2018 sessions and elections, I'm going to start hitting y'all's pages on social media. I don't need to attend your events. I'm going to ask my questions. I'm going to make my statements, and I'm going to say what I got to say via social media, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. All right? And we're going to start with the issue of racism in the courts. I'm talking about jobs and justice. Well, I'm on the justice part. You understand? I'm on the justice part. So when I come to Annapolis and I come see you, dog, I don't need an uh, army to come watch you. I'm going to come see you. I'm going to come to your door, to your job. And I'm going to have that paperwork in my hand. I've been in this game for a long time. This ain't new to me. I'm true to this. I ain't new to this. So in 2018, if you're running for office, I'm running my mouth. And when I run my mouth and it's about you, then you got to handle your business. You're going to stop selling black people out to, to white Jim Crow. You got elected to defend our rights and defend our people and defend our communities. You got to stop that 2018 crime bill that Governor Hogan put on the table. You got to stop Bobby Zirkin. You understand? You got to stop that white supremacy because if you don't stop that shit, I am. I'm building toilets. And y'all know I like shitting on people and I'm going to shit on you. I'm building a toilet because we got jobs and justice on the 27th of March. Between now and the 27th of March, I'm going to attend as many public events as I can. I'm going to take your card and I'm going to put your card on the toilet. And I'm going to hand you some paperwork. When I hand you that paperwork, do your job or lose your job because I'm coming for it. You understand? I don't need a million people to march. I don't need a gun. I don't need a baseball bat. All I need is that constitution. All I need is that constitution. We can do a constitutional policing. Dog, I've been policing the police since 2006. Long before Freddie Gray, long before the uprising, Tyrone West, all that shit. I've been in the police ass. Y'all done put guns in my head. Y'all done threatened me. Y'all done made me lose a lot in this community, except my standings in the community. You can't take that from me. So in 2018, dog, I'm thugging out. I came here straight out the penitentiary. So I'm going to give you that penitentiary shit. You in jail? We got to share that toilet. I don't care if you black, white, straight, or gay. We got to share that toilet because you my roommate. I ain't in jail no more. I ain't locked up no more. So I'm going to share that toilet with the world. I'm going to shit on every politician. I'm going to shit on every police. I'm going to shit on anybody that got something to say negative to the situation. Dog, I'm an independent filmmaker. I'm an activist. Dog, 2018, I'm acting the fuck out. You got a problem with me? Holler at me. I'm not hard to find. I come to your motherfucking house. Ask somebody. Mosby gotta go. And Ivan Bates ain't the answer. Y'all not gonna switch up black faces and put put black people to carry out black bullshit. You understand? If you black and you about the community, then you need to hold true to that shit. Stop selling us out. I done been in Annapolis long before it was popular. I'm an unpaid lobbyist. I don't get paid to do this shit. I do it because it need to be done. So when I come to Annapolis and I hand you that paperwork, act on that paperwork. Matter of fact, go to Bobby Zirkin's office. I want Schellenberger disbarred. I want access to the grand jury because that white man lied to the public. He normally lied to the public. He created havoc in Towson, Maryland, and he used his office to do it. So the same way that you're going after Nathaniel Oaks, the same way that you went after Sheila Dixon, I want, I want Schellenberger's job. Because if Schellenberger get this bar, he going to snitch on the whole white gorilla family. And my paperwork in the Department of Justice office, in the event that something happened to me, if I stumble and fall and can't get up, my shit still going to make it to where it got to go. I'm going to the Department of Justice in April. Me and my producer, Rob Fix, we're going to take all the film that we've been doing for the last 11 years, and we're going to turn it over to the Department of Justice. So all those emails... From DD Shortman at AOL.com, get them. Siebert, Moses, Norris, Belfield, Bats, Davis, all them events that I came to and that we had these conversations. Get your shit together, bro. I'm not a defendant. I'm the plaintiff. I'm sitting on the other side of the bench. And we're going to see if justice worked for you the same way it worked for me. You lock me up for toilets. I'm going to terrorize you with so many toilets, we're going to make you lock me up again. 
you either gonna give me the grand jury, you're gonna give me a, a court date. And when you lock me up, that whatever's on that toilet, got, the jury gotta see it. So you in a fucked up position. It's damned if you do, damned if you don't. But believe you me, I'm on my shit. This Sunday morning. Dog, what you gonna do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday? I'm seven days a week, 365. I'm an activist every day, all day. I divorced my wife. I'm married to the streets. Streets to the seats, baby. See you.